What is scope in project management? What are requirements? You might know the definition of these two terms, but do you understand what's the difference between project requirements and project scope? Let's figure it out. Hey, this is Praveen Malik from pmbypm.com, your ultimate resource for the PMP exam prep. I have made it my mission to help you pass the PMP exam in your first try. In this video, I'm going to talk about the definition of project scope and project requirements. Stay tuned till the end of this video and I'll tell you the difference between these two terms. Before you go ahead, please subscribe to this channel and click on bell icon. This way, whenever I release a new informative video, you'll get an instant notification. So there are six processes of scope management as per the PMBOK guide. Let's concentrate on two processes which are collect requirements and define scope. So what is scope? What is the English meaning of scope? The definition is the extent of the area or subject matter that something deals with or to which it is relevant. There are a few words that signify scope. These are boundary, area, range, extent and limit. So if you understand these words, you'll understand the meaning of scope. So for example, boundary. So it means that within this boundary, we are going to work outside this boundary, we will not work. So what is scope of a project? A project starts with a goal and then work is done to fulfill that goal. So the project scope is the work done to complete a project. Do you remember our example project from the knowledge area video? Our goal was to go on a holiday with the extended family. You can click on the card above to look at the earlier video. So what kind of work will we do to fulfill this goal? So our project scope could include five pieces of work. These are travel arrangement, hotel booking, travel insurance, local travel and local sightseeing. But let's understand it from the project manager's perspective. From the project manager's perspective, all five things may not be part of the scope. So let's consider from a project manager's perspective, first three are part of project scope and last two are not part of project scope. So we will do travel arrangements, we will do hotel booking, we will do travel insurance, but we will not make arrangements for the local travel and local sightseeing. So what are requirements? Requirements are needs and expectations of stakeholders. Some may become part of the projects, but other may not be part of the scope. So what does this mean? Let's look at our holiday project example. So in our holiday project, travel arrangements was part of the scope. The travel arrangements can be done for a airplane or a train or a bus. Now different stakeholders might have different requirements. Now somebody might say that I want to go on an airplane and that too business class, but others might say bus journey is more fun. Let's do a bus. So it depends. The requirements could be many, but some will become part of the project and others will not be part of the project scope. So what's the relationship between scope and requirements? So initially a goal is defined and high level scope is prepared and using the high level scope, some initial requirements are defined and scope is elaborated. The scope and requirements go in a cycle. As more and more requirements come in, scope is defined further. What's the difference between scope and requirements? So let's consider what is in scope. So this total cloud represents what is in scope that is part of the project scope. So there will be few requirements which will be part of the project scope and the work done to complete these requirements will also be part of the project scope. The whole cloud represent the project scope, but what is out of scope? The other requirements that we didn't consider are out of the project scope. The other work that might happen because of these requirements, this is again out of the scope. For example, going by a bus was one of the requirements. So it was part of the project scope and the work done to go on a bus and the work required to be done to go on a bus is also part of project scope. But many of the requirements were not part of the project scope. So scope defines the boundary, the boundary within which we are going to work outside the boundary. We will not work that is out of project scope within the boundary. We are going to work. So all the requirements and all the work done within the boundary is part of project scope. So I have a question for you, which is defined first scope or the requirements. I'm curious, please leave a comment below. 
Thank you for watching this video. You can follow me on Quora, LinkedIn and Facebook. The links are in the description below. Before you go, like and share this video and subscribe to this channel.